uh, please give a big hand and welcome up to the mic our first fire and dust poet of the night, Lawrence Tilly. Good evening, everybody. Um, this is uh, this is dedicated to uh, anybody who uh, doesn't sleep well, or perhaps I should say, um, doesn't sleep regularly. I have always, since my childhood, had irregular sleep. As a youth, I'd be late for Latin on Friday mornings, in the afternoons, dog tired, tam defessus quam canis. I was obliged to apologize for it. Teenage indiscipline, laziness implied when not stated. But at university one summer night, we parted and stayed on the beach till dawn. It's colder than you think. And I alone, not drunk on cider, pulled back the blanketed somnambulant feet, the ones which edged too close to the fire. Irregular sleep does not go down well with the nine to fives. It does not fit in. It is not accepted, it is not understood. Then I read in a book of anthropology of a study where scientists observed a tribal group. No communications, no clocks, no modern devices or lights. 30 people lived together in a jungle roundhouse and were studied night and day for two and a half weeks. In all that time, there were only two hours when every member was asleep. It is speculated, therefore, that through evolution, some individuals of a social species are pre-programmed to sleep differently to the rest. And whether that's true or not, it seemed good enough. I stopped apologizing for being me. So when the saber tooth, so when the saber tooth comes roaming, when the Spartan boys come raiding, when the incendiaries are falling, we are the ones most likely to warn you. We are the ones who pull your feet from the fire. We are the watchers. Thank you. Very nice. Lawrence, thank you for sharing that with us. I enjoyed uh, the storytelling there, as well as the poetry. Cheers. Uh, big hand for Lawrence, if we haven't already done it. Sorry, I didn't think to look. 